Hello gorgeous. As you can see, I'm starting by shaping and filling in my brows to kind of be a little bit more like Ashley's, which seem to be naturally thicker and almost straighter than my own. I love straight brows just because I feel like they make the face look a little bit wider rather than longer. So if your face is on the longer side, try a straighter brow, boo-boo. It'll change your life. <laughs> Since these brows are way fuller than my own, to make them look a little bit more natural and realistic and believable, I use a black liquid liner pen. I love the Kat Von D Trooper, which is a black, just to draw extremely thin, 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 thin hair-like strokes. If you have lighter hair, try a brown or even a gray instead. I'm cleaning up underneath the brow using a flat concealer brush and MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm just blending that down onto the lid. I'm blending the concealer down onto my lids, um, and this is going to give kind of like a primer effect and it's going to prevent any eyeshadows from creasing if you have a problem with that. For myself, most concealers make my eyeshadows crease except for this one. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure that this concealer was like a collaboration with some like holy makeup figure because it really works. For foundation, which was probably one of my favorite things about this look besides the wet hair, and let me tell you why. It looked really natural and flawless, but still glam. So I'm using my Lancome Stick Foundations. You guys already know that I love these. I showed you them in my Jessica Rabbit tutorial. I just swipe a shade that's pretty close to my skin tone, mainly wherever I have any hyperpigmentation and redness and then I just blend it out. This is just to even out the skin. It's not cake face makeup at all. Um, and you guys always ask me about this brush. It's from It Cosmetics, it's double-ended. I have two of these. I have one for home and one for in my purse touch-ups on the go. If you wanna see me do a video about like on the go kind of makeup, let me know in the comment section below. But to add some dimension to the face as Ashley has really great bone structure, I'm adding a darker shade of that Lancome stick foundation to the hollows of my cheeks around the perimeter of my face and just blending that out. I'm sticking with the creamy foundation to handle the contouring aspect of this look just because I want it to be very subtle. Um, and creams give you that kind of subtle effect. This isn't Kardashian makeup, this isn't Instagram makeup, this is 2016 realness, y'all, okay? Effortless and touchable looking, even though I hate when people touch my face because I know I'm gonna get a pimple exactly where they touched it, it's like so annoying. Um, but anyway, moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm laying down the shade Custard from Anastasia Beverly Hills all over the lids as a base. I'm creating a smooth, dry surface to blend other eyeshadows on top of. I'm working the Dusty Rose shade into the sockets, um, just kind of like a transition color. And then next up, this shade is called Truffle. It's a beautiful brown with this like nice reddish undertone. I'm just applying that to the outer third of the lids and blending it inward until it fades. Lastly, I'm using the shade Dark Chocolate Shimmer on the center of the lid from the lash line fading upwards and just blend the crap out of that. Realistically, if you're doing this at home, you could probably take the shade Truffle or whatever brown eyeshadow you really love and just kind of create a little bit of a cloud on the lid and just, you know, make sure to blend it well. I brought the shadows up a little too high for my taste, so I'm using something a little bit lighter than my skin tone just underneath the brow to tone it down a smidge. Um, now I'm taking a black gel liner pencil. This is Avon Super Shock. It's fantastic. I'm using that to create a little point at the inner corners, um, a little bit of definition at the outer half of the lash line. We're basically creating a very soft, barely there wing. You can smudge it out a little if you want with a pencil brush. Um, even a, if you want to put a little bit of black eyeshadow on top, it can really help to boost eyeliner longevity. This um, eyeliner doesn't need any help, but just in case you have one that does, that's a trick. I didn't have any fallout, but I waited until after I was done with the top of my eye to put any foundation on my under eye area. You gotta think ahead sometimes. <laughs> yes, I'm using foundation, a mix of lighter shade and the shade that I used all over my face, just to not overdo the brightness. Again, this isn't Kardashian makeup, this isn't Instagram makeup, this is Fashion Magazine cover, honey. Immediately after applying the makeup underneath my eye, I'm setting with a translucent powder from Laura Mercier, the one that everybody uses, and I'm using a damp beauty blender sponge. And I say immediately, so as to not allow the makeup underneath my eyes to have any time to crease before I lock it down. I'm not baking by any means. I'm using a very, very small amount of powder and only setting the center of my face with very little powder as well. I want the skin to still look skinnish. Finishing up the eye with black liner on the waterline, it's the same Avon Super Shock pencil. And then with a very tiny, tiny, tiny eyeshadow brush, I'm tracing that truffle shade along the lower lash line, but keeping it quite close to the lash line. I'm not over blending kind of like I usually do. Um, just keeping it kind of condensed. 
Next, I'm applying mascara. I love this Katy Perry one. I hope they never discontinue it. It doesn't smudge on me, which I'm shocked because it's like very wet and this isn't even the waterproof version. Um, no false lashes for this look, which by the way, I included some pics on my blog of some really, really strange lashes that for whatever reason, they keep putting them on Ashley Graham for like red carpet events and like things. And I just like, honestly, if she wasn't so pretty, I mean, if you put this on like me, I would look like a freak. I, I'm putting a link in the description box down below so you can check it out because you have to see it to believe it. These are like the craziest lashes I've ever seen. Um, and they have nothing to do with the shoot, but anyway. Finishing up the face with some bronzer just where the sun would naturally hit. I really like the pink wash of color across her cheeks um, that I saw, I think, in at least one of the photos from the shoot. It looked so natural. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like natural rosiness, like showing through her foundation. It was just gorgeous. It looked so healthy. Um, and to keep the look also still looking really natural, um, I'm using a brow pencil to go over any freckles or beauty spots that may have gotten lost under the foundation. Um, I saw some pictures of Ashley where her freckles were showing through and it looked really beautiful. Um, for the lips, I started with Anastasia's Liquid Lipstick and Naked, but that was a mistake because Ashley's lips had more of a peachy look and they weren't matte. They had kind of like a creaminess to them. So I just went over and tried the Urban Decay Lipstick in Liar, which isn't quite peachy. But it did feel closer to the look and I really liked how it turned out so I went with it. Anyway, this is the finished look. I hope you liked it and as always, I look forward to talking to you again very, very soon. Bye!